Welcome back to Bilingual Preschool Storytime. My name is Miss Karen and I work here at the Palm Springs Public Library as the children's librarian. Buenas, bienvenidos todos a nuestros cuentos bilingües para preescolares. Mi nombre es Miss Karen y trabajo aquí en la biblioteca de Palm Springs como la bibliotecaria de niños. So what can you see all around me? What is a word that we see all over the place? Yes, the word zoo, Z-O-O, -O, zoo. So before we start, what do we do first? Let me hear you. Yes, ¿qué hacemos primero antes de leer los cuentos? Quiero oír. Sí, we sing, cantar. Muy bien, are you ready? One, two, three. Start clapping, aplaudiendo, aplaudiendo. Put your hands on your head, put your hands on your knees, put your hands behind you now, if you please. Las manos atrás, las manos atrás. Put your hands on your tummy, put your hands on your toes, put your hands up on your cheeks, put them on your nose. En las mejillas y en la nariz. Put your hands in the air, put your hands on your hair, clap your hands, one, two, three, then fold them on your knees. Muy bien, very good, thank you for singing with me. So before we start our reading, we have to learn a little Spanish. <clears throat> so, in English we say zoo, in Spanish we say zoológico. Zoológico. Can you say it? Zoológico. Then we have the word animals because animals are in the zoo. And in Spanish we say animales. Los animales del zoológico. Sometimes we might be able to see an elephant at the zoo. Un elefante. Elefante. Can we make the sound of an elephant? Very good. We also can see a sloth at the zoo. Sloth, it's called un dormilón. Dormilón. And also we might be able to see a tiger. Un tigre. Un tigre. So I'll start with my reading. Exploring the Zoo, Explorando el Zoológico. And this book is written by Emmett Martin. Este libro está escrito por Emmett Mar Martin. ¡Hoy vamos al zoológico! Puedes ver muchos animales en el zoológico. We're going to the zoo today. You can see many animals at the zoo. You see the letters? C O O. What colors? What colors are the letters? Green. And in Spanish, verde. This is a light blue, celeste. And pink, rosa o rosado. Muy bien. Pagamos para ingresar. We pay money to go in. Primero miramos el mapa. Nos dice a dónde ir. First, we look at the map. It tells us where to go. Ooh, let me change. It's hard for me sometimes to switch the pages because my hands are so dry. Lo primero que vemos son los... ¿Qué son estos? ¡Unos monos! Un guardián nos cuenta sobre ellos. <clears throat> we see the monkeys first. A zookeeper tells us about them. Can we make the sound of the monkey? ¿Cómo hacen los monos? Muy bien, very good. Vemos un elefante. Rocía agua con su trompa. We see an elephant. It sprays water with its trunk. Can we have a trunk as an elephant? Tenemos un moco de elefante. And can we make the sound? ¿Podemos hacer el sonido? 
Yes, very good. Vemos un león. Tiene una melena. Así que es macho. We see a lion. It has a mane, so it's a boy. And how does it growl? Como gruñe el león. Vemos un tigre. Los tigres son los felinos más grandes. We see a tiger. Tigers are the biggest cats. Do, can you show me how they would jump towards? Yes, towards their prey. They would jump to their prey. Los tigres pueden brincar también. Brinca como un tigre. Muy bien. Vemos aves. Un loro se pasa en el brazo de mi hermana. We see birds. A parrot sat on my sister's arm. I can do a very good sound of a parrot. Can you do it? Dame la patilla. Vemos una jirafa bebé. Es muy alta. We see a baby giraffe. It's very tall. Muy alta. Tall. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. So now I'm going to sing a little song. I'm just going to count up to five, but this song can go on and on, and it's in Spanish. I know that some, some parents or caregivers might know this song when they were little. In Spanish, voy a cantar una canción, vamos a contar nada más hasta cinco, y a lo mejor ustedes, padres o encargados, han cantado esta canción antes. <coughs> esta canción puede seguir... Hasta muchos números más, pero yo voy a, a contar nada más hasta cinco. ¿Están listos? Are you ready? One, two, three. Un elefante se columpiaba sobre la tela de una araña. Y cuando vio que resistía, fue a llamar otro elefante. Dos elefantes se columpiaban sobre la tela de una araña y como vieron que resistía fueron a llamar otro elefante tres elefantes se columpiaban sobre la tela de una araña y como vieron que resistía fueron a llamar otro elefante cuatro elefantes se columpiaban sobre la tela de una araña y como vieron que resistía fueron a llamar otro elefante cinco elefantes se columpiaban sobre la tela de una araña y como vieron que resistía fueron a llamar otro elefante muy bien, very good. So now we have zoo a choo ay, ay, by Peter Mandel and illustrated by Elwood Smith. Let's see what happens at this type of zoo. It was a sleepy Sunday at the city zoo. The hippos were slow. Low and slow. The sloth was asleep, deeply asleep. Oh. Even the seals swam slowly. It was a slow zoo show. Suddenly, something unsleepy, a long, loud sound flew through the zoo. It was a zoo. Oh, Where did it come from? From the snow leopard. What did he do? He went a It was a leopard sneeze. Just one. But the African elephant heard the sound. She raised her trunk. Razor trunks, laser trunks. Elephant sneeze. Stand back. 
a tree was down, a fence was flat. A Zuachu was catching. The hippo in his mud bath felt a tickle in his nose. ¿Dónde está la nariz? Aquí está la nariz. Ka, ha, ha. The zookeeper came running with nose drops and a giant tissue. Too late. Kabo! The hippo's sneeze erupted. It made a mud volcano. Oh no! cried the zookeeper. Mud was covering the animals. Is that a chocolate giraffe? said a visitor. But then the mud began to crack. Wah! <laughs> Sneezed the red giraffe. Chunks of chocolatey gunk rained down everywhere. People put up umbrellas. The zookeeper tried wiping zebras with spray cleaner. Even the sloth woke up and found his washcloth to scrub. The seals Succeed and rinsed. The zoo was hard at work until, at once, the whiskers on every single seal felt tickly. You know how that goes. That when when someone starts sneezing at a house, then everybody starts sneezing too. Ka. It was a 12 seal sneeze, all 12 zoo seals at once. The seal pond splashed up high like a gusher, gushing rings and rubber balls. Is that old faithful? said a visitor. The zookeeper knew he had to act, act fast. Flamingos were floating, foxes were fishing, the polar bear hung onto his iceberg. It was not a slow day at all. Hello? The zookeeper got the African elephant to refill the seal pond. Then he called the large animal vet. What do you think the vet said? Let's see. Let's see what the vet said. What did the animal doctor do? He made every zoo animal drink a super fizzy sneeze solution. Is that root beer? said a visitor. It was fizzy sneeze solution. No more sua chew. All was quiet at the city zoo. The seal swam slowly. The sloth was again asleep until um what was that what was that it was the snow leopard definitely not a sneeze and not a burp a leopard oh just one but it might be catching did anyone hear it did the elephant did the hippo in his mud bath did you hear it? Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. So, the library has for you the craft of making a zoo with some stickers. We will provide you the background. We will provide you the stickers. And remember that each creation is what? Beautiful. Ustedes van a recibir del parte de la biblioteca la manualidad. Van a tener la parte decorativa de un zoológico. Se les van a dar calcomanías o pegatinas. But this is not so simple. At home, first of all, we want to fly like a butterfly. You also will get a butterfly. Vamos a volar como mariposas. So we can go and visit our friends to the zoo and we will do these big motions with the butterfly and we will go and create our own story and visit our friends at the zoo with the butterfly. Remember that all these skills, fine motor skills, 
and gross motor skills are good for the development of your children. Tenemos que recordar que cuando estamos haciendo estos movimientos grandes, esto les sirve a los chicos porque son movimientos de eh, motores gruesos. Entonces, esto les ayuda a desarrollar sus habilidades de motores gruesas. Y van a volar como la mariposa y van a ir a visitar al zoológico a sus amigos y van a crear historias. I hope you like it and I hope that we see you next time. Let's do our closing rhyme, okay? Our wave goodbye. All right, stretch, stretch, stretch. Arriba, vamos a estirarnos. Wave high, wave low. Oh, it's time to go. Wave your elbows and wave your tongue. La lengua, la lengua. And wave your toes and wave your nose. La nariz, la nariz. Wave your knees, las rodillas, las rodillas. Wave your lips and blow kisses with your fingertips. Wave your ears, las orejas, las orejas. Wave your hair, el pelo, el pelo, el pelo. Wave your belly, la panza, la panza, la panza. And your derriere, la colita, la colita. Wave your chin, la barbilla. Ah, 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 ah. Wave your eyes, los ojos, los ojos. Wave both hands, las manos, las manos. And say goodbye. Adiós, adiós, adiós. See you soon. Hasta pronto.